One Piece question number 12. Can you explain ancient weapons? Like, what do they do? Are they actually weapons that shoot and stuff? Well, of course, my good sir, I can definitely answer that question. There will be spoilers all the way up to the Wano arc of the One Piece manga. So we learned the name of one of the ancient weapons all the way back on Alabasta from Crocodile. He said it was Pluton. It also describes the kind of power that this ancient weapon wields, that with one single blast it can destroy an entire island without leaving a single trace. Ancient weapons are notable weapons that can bring about mass destruction. And this is the excuse that the world government leans on for not wanting people to search up the Void Century, the ancient weapons. As we already know with the people in the world government, they don't care because Spondum was actually looking for Pluton himself. Crocodile was also looking for Pluton himself. Sky P was on the location of Poseidon, located on Fishman Island, and on Fishman Island we learned that Poseidon is actually Shirahoshi, the mermaid princess. And that the three ancient weapons actually bear the names of gods, Pluton, Uranus, and Poseidon. Pluton being a warship and Poseidon being a mermaid. Poseidon being able to control the sea kings, the very kings of the sea. And Pluton is a warship as described by Crocodile that is lying underneath Wano. Last ancient weapon, Uranus, that we have not yet seen before but I do have a theory on. To tell you what Uranus is, I do have to say there will be spoilers all the way up to the latest chapter of the One Piece manga. The interesting part about the ancient weapons is the naming, saying they bear the names of gods, Pluton, Uranus, and Poseidon. The thing to pay attention to with these three names is that they're tied to other gods, also tied to other stories in mythology where their name changes depending on if it's Greek or Roman mythology. But to add one more layer to this video, Brody Loman made a video talking about how there are more than just three ancient weapons in the One Piece verse. Well, there's actually eight, and the other five are the Gorosei. He goes on to say that Pluton, Uranus, and Poseidon, but in this case it will be Neptune, his Roman name, were the three plants we discovered when we invented the telescope. And the five we knew before that was Saturn, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. In this case, the five elder stars. Because we're not fully knowledgeable on what all the ancient weapons are, it's very plausible that they can be an ancient weapon themselves. Because of Shirohoshi, we know that the ancient weapons don't physically have to be a weapon, but can also be beings. This can explain a lot of things about the Gorosei, how they're essentially immortal to Luffy and really take no damage. But if that's true, there's only one ancient weapon not accounted for, and that's Uranus. This is known as one of the two ice giants in our solar system. I'm going to use that and the mythology of Uranus to get our answer. That's why the names are very important to figuring out what the ancient weapon of Uranus actually is. Uranus in Greek mythology is the god of the heaven and the sky. The Roman counterpart or his Roman name would be Kylus. Kylus can be represented as heaven and sky. When English can be seen as celestial. Celestial body, planet in the sky. When time gets to one piece we have celestial dragons or celestial beings tied to celestial bodies or named after planets. Because of Uranus's name and him being tied to the sky a lot of people believe the weapon had to be something involving the sky. Now let's draw the links. Poseidon, ruler of the sea, sure host of the H weapon Poseidon can control the sea kings. And then we have Pluton. That Pluton being a warship that can destroy an island and leave no trace to plutonium. Because with its decay process it can produce heat and in a way it can be used for destruction. It's like how the mother flame was used to destroy the Lucia kingdom. Flame. Heat. Pluton is known as the god of agriculture, wealth, and the underworld. And tying it to the One Piece world, Pluton is located underneath Wano, underneath the volcano. The underworld. And Wano was known as the city of gold, or the country of gold. Wealth. All that's left is Uranus. Because the next place we're going to is Elbath, I feel like this is where we learn more about Uranus. And one of the main reasons why is because of what happened to Uranus. Uranus was castrated by his son Kronos and his blood dripped down to the earth and it created giants. But there lies our link to the One Piece world, Uranus and the giants. And one thing about giants, even going all the way back to Big Mom's backstory, they're seen as a very warrior heavy race. And even Big Mom said if she would have had the giants on her side, she would have took over the world a long time ago. So I believe that the ancient weapon Uranus won't just be a ship, it won't be a person, but a physical weapon, a true ancient weapon. One that can be used against the Elder Stars. From Egghead, we know that Saturn and the other Gorsi are very wary of the giants interacting with Luffy. Saturn saying that Luffy must be crushed before they call him something else. Even Dorian Bragi saying to Luffy that he's just like the god from Elbath, the sun god. So if the sun and dawn, there's also the moon and dusk. Be the king, you must defeat the king. And just like I said, the names linked to what the ancient weapon is, I believe the ancient weapon is actually the weapon used to castrate Uranus. The ancient weapon Uranus will be a harp, a blade that transcends all the other metal graded blades, one strong enough to cut down a god. And it's the god of heaven and sky. Anel was telling us all along, heaven, the place where God resides, where Anel went to the moon. The moon's always apparent in the sky. Harp, the shape of a crescent moon, it was possibly made by the blacksmiths of Wano who all bear the names of moons.